Here we are at a local park. And I like to fish at night here in Southern California. We are targeting carp. I'm using pretty heavy line, but it is nighttime. Um, temperatures are pretty cold for this area. And so I don't think they'll hit the top water. But that's the first thing we're going to check out because that's how we usually catch them. So I have some bread floating out. And we'll see if my drag starts to go. Gear is a 4,000 size Daiwa Excelsior and a 8 foot, eight foot 6 Shimano Claris salmon steelhead rod that I use for surf perch fishing and other applications where a longer rod comes in handy. This, I have a 15 pound mono on. This reel has like 26 pounds of drag, but only bought it for the line capacity for the longer casts with this rod. So, uh, wish me luck. Here we are, minutes later from my last entry. The carp have arrived. They are hitting top water, so let's see if we can hook up on one. Oh, I'm gonna turn this light off. Update. Just heard a massive carp jump on the other side of this little inlet. I've seen them do it before, but that sounded like a full breach, like it was completely out of the water. It's a good sign, it means they're active and roaming. They might have been spooked by something, I'm not sure. But let's see if we can hook up on one soon. <laughs> Update on this carp fishing. No fish yet. I have seen some squirrels. I changed spots to a, a spot with a little rockier bottom near some uh, some brush. We usually get better numbers and better quality fish from this spot. And actually, there's a there's a white koi that lives in here. And it's got to be anywhere from 12 to 15 pounds at least. That's overall, like, long term, that's the fish I'm after. Unless there's bigger, of course. But, uh, with my surf fishing gear, I definitely have the gear to land a fish like that and keep it from rushing into the brush and breaking me off. It's nighttime, so I don't think uh, line size matters too much. They, the, these fish here can be shy like during the day but but once you get them competing on like some top water bread they'll just they'll just gobble it up no matter what I did heavily bait this area with a lot of uh, sweet corn on the bottom just kind of tossed around just to get them in this general area hopefully that scent is carrying through the water uh, we'll see what happens though I'll keep you posted see you in top water again in February. With the fog and like the 50 degree weather in Southern California, kinda uncommon. Well, 
pretty common. 40s like uncommon. Anyhow, trying to get bit here. Keep you up. Dude. We're hooked up on a carp. Oh my god, the way it took it was crazy. This does not feel like a big one at all. Matter of fact, it's kind of little, which is disappointing. But I mean, a fish is a fish. Ooh, he's a fighter. I'm worried because there's a there was a knot in my line because when it first took it it jumped out of the water and it took a ton of drag and I had my drag set super low Maybe it's a little better quality than what we thought. It's an alright fish. Landing it's going to be tricky. Because usually... Usually we bring like a net. I don't have a net today. I like to tire them out, or or a good way to land them without a net is just to completely tire them out. Because as soon as they get close to this bank right here, they're gonna kick and kick. There he is. Is he done? He seems to be about done. Oh my God, this eight foot six rod is handling like a dream. We're gonna see if I can scoop them up here. Get my sleeve ready. Keep tension on that rod. I'm gonna bring them in here with my right hand on the rod. Scoop them up with the left. Let's see if I can do this here. Oh. Come on, buddy. Not ready. He's a bit bigger than I thought. This guy's not too little. How am I gonna land him?
bring him in again. Come on, buddy. Turn his head. Gets to the bank. That's a nice fish. He does not want to be caught. Oh no, he does not. What should I do? Aren't you tired yet, buddy? Oh, he's hit me. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he's way bigger than what I thought. Oh, he's a big one. Oh my god, what a nice carp, Jesus, alright, I gotta get the hook out of him, oh, is my hands off, I got my needle on those grippers here, there it is, Ooh, it came, it just slid right out. Oh, let's get some measurements on this guy. There he is. Measurements and some pictures. Okay. Back, back. I think that's my PB right there. I measure him. Tip of the mouth, tip of the tail, about 25 and a half inches. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. Okay, all right, come on buddy, you're good, you're okay, you're okay. You're all right. A few pictures, weigh them, let them go. Okay, gotta move fast here. Fish out of water. Gotta move fast here. Camera flash on. Okay, let's get a quick wait. Release this fish. Where's my scale? Oh, I'm so glad I got a nice scale finally. Scale is zeroed out. This number, I can delete that. Okay. Scale is zeroed. 59 degrees out. On this guy. You're okay, buddy. Oh my god. We're looking at. Ain't 8.35 pounds. 8.35. That's a new PB. My last was about 7 pounder. Let's get this guy released. Scale is off. Back in the pocket. Got my pliers back in my pocket. Zip the pocket up so nothing falls out. Oh, what a big boy. Jeez. I right, gotta get him in the water. You're okay, buddy. Oh, you're heavy. You're a big eight pound carp, ain't you? Oh, yeah. through his gills. There you go, buddy. There you go. 
Oh, <laughs>